Coal mining has ruined millions of acres of land across the U.S. And it can pollute the surrounding areas for decades after the coal is gone. Now, these farmers are restoring coal mining land with lavender. Can this farm be a model for lands destroyed by coal mining across the country? We went to Ashford, West Virginia to find out. When I signed up and I found out it was a lavender farm, I said, like, hey, ain't no way. <laughs> I ain't never heard of a lavender farm. I kind of like it. It's my new home. Aaron Morgan worked as a coal miner for a decade. You know, I'm not the only ex-miner here. There's a lot of ex-coal miners here. He never imagined he would be picking flowers on coal mining land. It's strange to me that it's been farmed now. Because <laughs> yeah, it, it's really just all rock. <laughs> it's a wasteland, really. Appalachian Botanical Company, or ABCO, is on a retired part of a larger coal mine. Let's go over and meet some of the guys. My name's Frank. I've had an assortment of jobs. I like this one the best. <laughs> I don't even work here. I just come to be. <laughs> we do turn a good section of this mountain purple during the blooming season. The business is part of a reclaiming process that rebuilds the landscape with new vegetation. But it's complicated and costly. Imagine blasting the top off of a mountain and then trying to rebuild it piece by piece. Growing plants in the soil on mines is tough, but luckily... Lavender loves poor soils. And the sweet-smelling herb can actually reduce toxic heavy metals in the soil. We make sure the soil tests come back so that there's no heavy metals, no toxins of any kind. The team harvests the lavender throughout the summer and early fall. ABCO uses every part of the flower, so nothing goes to waste. I need like 35 pounds of these buds cut off by tomorrow. They spread the lavender on the floor to cut the buds and bundle the stems to sell for cooking. We strip the bottom two leaves off and we'll dip that in water and rooting hormone. They save small leaf clippings and plant them to grow more lavender. And this is the 40 gallon pot. That's a 26 gallon. Matt Carter boils water to steam distill about 40 pounds of lavender to make essential oil. Everybody knows that oil is lighter than water. The oil floats to the top, just strain the water off of it, which we keep the water too. They filter the oil three times before bottling it up. They also use the flowers to make creams, honey, salt, and hand sanitizer. Ready. Finally, the leftover plant biomass is transformed into compost. Coal companies are legally required to restore the land they have mined. After a company drills and blasts a deep pit, it piles all the broken rock and topsoil back into it to reshape the landscape. All that earth gets compacted down to prevent erosion and runoff. They plant some sort of vegetation and clean the water if need be. An old mine can become any number of things like a grassland, a home, or in the case of Abco, a farm. But does the land actually go back to what it was like before? It's still fairly rare, I think, for um, reclamation to be done well. Mike is reforesting a 2,500-acre surface mine that has already been reclaimed. But he says growing trees in the rocky, compacted soil is really challenging. They have to rip the soil sometimes three or four feet to plant anything here. When you stop the mining, it, it doesn't mean that the pollution stops. Layers of rock that have been deep in the earth for millennia are now exposed. And so they become very active chemically uh, when they're exposed to water. Pollutants leach off of those materials for you know, decades, if not hundreds of years. Hundreds of thousands of acres of mining land across the U.S. coal fields haven't been reclaimed yet. If the mine is stopped and reclamation activity stops, these mines just sort of sit, uh, often as, you know, wastelands of bare soil and rock. And there's a fear that as the coal industry continues to decline, more land could go to waste. ABCO hopes to expand its farm onto this patch of partially reclaimed land on the mine. But for now, it sits idle. 
you can look out there and see all the nasty water just sitting out there and laying. It's awful, man. We ain't even allowed out there. And I'm assuming that's the reason we're not allowed out there. What is most likely is that these mining companies will end up going bankrupt, leaving this partially or unreclaimed land without following through on the reclamation obligations. Unreclaimed mining land can lead to more flooding and landslides. The coal companies stopped working, which meant they also stopped fixing any of the problems that they had created. Companies only became responsible for cleaning up old mines in 1977. Before that, they simply abandoned them. There are over six million acres of abandoned coal mines across the country, and they're releasing heavy metals and other toxins into the water and air. You can come in and take some of these off. Businesses like ABCO are working to both restore the land and provide jobs here in Boone County as coal is on its way out. The farm has doubled in size since it broke ground in 2019. Well, that's a lot of flowers. <laughs> that's a lot of lavender. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of employment. Along with employing former coal miners, ABCO also hires people in long-term drug recovery. I like working here because they gave me the opportunity to show that my past is in the past. They were still willing to work with me, and it was great that somebody gave me a chance to show that I can do this. And so when we reclaim, we don't just reclaim land. We reclaim land, people, communities, everything. <laughs> Reclaiming mine land is one step toward a post-coal future. The Biden administration has committed to investing $260 million in reclamation efforts for states and tribes. And APCO hopes to use some of that money to expand the business to more of West Virginia. If that is funded, it will enable us to set up a new farm location in a neighboring county and set up a regional community hub there. But the U.S. government is still adding one more hurdle to cleaning up abandoned mine land. The proposed infrastructure bill would reduce the tax on coal production that funds these reclamation projects. The Appalachian region, they've sacrificed a lot for energy that has really built this country. We, as, as a nation, owe it to this region to fix some of these inadequacies. Appalachia has a long way to go to clean up the mess created by generations of mining. But these flowers give hope for a blossoming future. A lot of times you get a ripple effect in the water, right? We don't make a ripple, we make a wave. <laughs>